say, you know, among the distinguished visitors I've had, they've had uh, three, four presidents, and I had the <laughs> I had the uh, distinction, an honor, if you want to call it, of being hollered at by Harry Truman <laughs> when it was in Plasto, when his when his campaign train campaign train stopped there, and he was starting to talk. Well, before he started to talk, he said, now don't you take any pictures while I'm talking. Oh, yeah. So <laughs> while he was talking, I took a picture. And he stopped right in the middle of his talk. He says, I told you not to take any pictures. But the Secret Service didn't come after me. Right? Yeah, yeah, right. But I had, uh, I had <laughs> President Kennedy. I had, as you've seen, I had him right. uh, before he was president. I've taken Nixon and Truman and Roosevelt. Hmm. And uh, most of them, hey, well, I, Wendell Wilkie, I saw when he was here. He was running against Roosevelt. Is that right? Yeah, right, right. and they were all campaigning. But uh, oh, all the congressmen, you know. And I got to, I got to meet them all. Right. Uh, went to Washington a few times, and and uh, but we've we've had some distinguished. But I, the last visit that Louis B. Mayer made to Haverhill, and he looked at his old theater. His first theater was the old Lafayette on Essex Street. Mm. And I got a picture of him looking at the marquee oh, before yeah. they tore it down. It was in, 1955, I believe. Right. And uh, as a matter of fact, you were showing me earlier uh, Gene Autry. Now, did, oh, I he, spent, did he end up visiting? Or no, no, no. I spent two just, years in the army with him in the Air Corps. Oh, is that right? Yeah, he was in, they were in my little Hollywood center in uh, in Arizona. We had a bunch of movie people there, but he was the most prominent and the richest one. And uh, he was in my office in public relations. Uh -huh. And I did a <laughs> yeah. I did a, uh, one of his nationwide radio broadcasts, 1944. Uh -huh. I was sitting in the office one Sunday when he used to do his uh, national, national broadcast right. uh, on the network out of, out of the field in Arizona. Uh -huh. And his producer came running in and said, you doing anything? I said, no. He said, you want to go on the program? I said, what do I have to do? He says, I'll give you something to say about introducing the song. He says, the guy was supposed to do it didn't show up. So I got five whole dollars for being on Autry's show. But he and I, got, I, uh, I think one of my distinctions is that, of course, you know, he owned the baseball team in California. Yeah. And it was right. one of his great hobbies was baseball. And I could truly say that I'm one of the people that played baseball with Gene Autry instead of for him. <laughs> we used to play catch out in the, uh, in between the barracks. Did you with him after? Huh? Oh, yeah, oh. yeah. He yeah, he sent me a copy of his books and things like that. Right. And I, you know, some of us stayed in contact because he's been gone for a couple of years now. Now, you may or may not recognize this because it was taken long before he was a senator oh. when he was running for the Senate. Is that right? And long before he was president, naturally. That was John F. Kennedy in a Havel shoe factory when he was campaigning. Excellent. Came in with John Linehan and other Havel people and mm -hmm. toured a couple of factories in the city. And this is one of them, and uh, I took a series of pictures that day. Mm -hmm. One of our celebrities here. Did you follow him, or did you just take pictures uh, when he visited the shoe factory? Oh, I, I took pictures in several places, but this is this is the one I I like best of, of all of them. Is unposed, and he was right, right. He was talking to somebody, and he was very interested in what went on. Oh, that's great. Excellent. He's one of the many celebrities <laughs> that I I was able to photograph. Were you, I gather you were impressed by, by him, his uh, demeanor and. Oh yeah, yeah, he was, yeah. he was quite a guy, but he, uh, he preceded, Louis B. Mayer, because I spent a couple of years with Gene Autry. Yeah. Oh. You know, the celebrity department, and, right, and right. we had a lot of celebrities, go through, one of my own, oh, the original Three Stooges. You imagine that? I, <laughs> the pictures of them.